Hi guys, this is Hajra from Dutta Gloss and Glaze and I welcome you all to the page. I'm here with a brand new video which is all about the products which I was very disappointed by and I don't think I'll ever buy them again because they were like my worst experience. Now just a disclaimer that these products could really work for you and they might be your holy grail so this is not an insult to you or the products or the companies or whatever but the point is that they did not work for me and I would not buy them again and if you're anywhere close to my uh, skin type which is oilier and pretty normal uh, you should avoid these because this these would definitely not work for you but if they do just keep on doing what you do with these products because they did not work for me <laughs> so let's dig in the first thing which did not really work for me and i did not really like is by benefit and it's the the professional matte rescue gel now this says that it's mattifying pure pure <laughs> pore blurring and invisible finish now it definitely is invisible finish and it does mattify your skin but for like very small amount of time almost around 20 to 25 minutes but after that it just makes your skin like like you've not even put anything on it and it does not blur your pores you have to use some pore filling formula to make it work and it won't work alone so that's my problem with it that it does not do what it says and it has a beautiful smell and it's like i love the smell but uh, it somehow doesn't work and it was around 5000 rupees hair so it was pretty expensive when i bought it in pakistan now the second thing which didn't work for me is the translucent powder by besame and here it is it's their it says brightening vanilla rose powder now it definitely has a rose tint into it but that doesn't translate my problem with this one was that it just balls up and after you've applied it and you've applied this translucent powder to set everything up after around an hour you'll start noticing that the small balls they start you know making it starts making balls out of the powder and it just looks looks so funny and you would really want a more smoother finish when you apply a translucent powder and it doesn't give you that so that's my problem with it the next thing which i think was very disappointing for me was this uh, foundation by inglot now this was very expensive you guys around mac prices but this also did not work for me this is one of the thickest formulas that i've ever come across and i can work with thick formulas i mean i don't mind thick formulas if i want a higher coverage i go for it but this one just oxidized so badly onto my skin i mean i applied it and after half an hour it just looked the darkest shade of brown and i had to just remove it and i have not even used it yet once and that's my point that it didn't really work for me in the in the sense that it just changed the color completely and for something which is so expensive i don't think a foundation should do that the next thing which didn't work for me was this luscious trio trio <laughs> trio luscious trio and this is in nature trail 01 now the pigmentation is fine for something which is so inexpensive but it is very powdery and here are the shades and this especially brown one is like the worst brown ever it doesn't blend it's not like it's not my cup of tea and if you are going somewhere and you have this don't go close don't go close to this one because this is like a nightmare to blend and i had such bad time blending it that you know i would never use it and now the these have other shades too they come in other shades too and i don't know about them but this specific trio did not work for me uh the next thing which didn't work for me is by body shop it's their concealer the stick one this is how the inside looks like it has this mini circle inside which is meant to be nourishing and all that stuff and this is their shade Now this is very oops now this is very creamy and uh, for something so creamy it has the worst pigmentation ever it doesn't cover your dark circles it just makes them more ashy makes them look more you know more grayish i'd say so not my type of concealer because i have dark circles and i want something which would conceal them really well and this was not it Uh the next thing which didn't really work for me was uh this beauty blender 
now not a beauty blender because beauty blender is a company and i always say beauty blender in f- instead of beauty sponge but that's wrong no now the thing which did not work for me was this beauty sponge by wipera and i did use it you could see but i don't think it has that um, softness of a beauty blender that you look for because it's so hard when you press it on your skin and i don't really like the feel of it and i feel it absorbs like a lot of product which i don't like either because it's wasting the product now the last thing which i was disappointed by is a conditioner i know it's so random but i had to include it because i was so not impressed by it this is by garnier and it's their goodbye damage strengthening conditioner repairs 2 years of damage in 2 weeks here it goes now it says that um results would show up in 2 weeks and they didn't really show up at all in my case and it was just so bumming when you buy something and you're like you see that it says that it'll just actually repair your stuff or your hair in like 2 3 weeks and you buy you keep using it but it doesn't really work this was something which didn't really work for me and i was really um <coughs> disappointed excuse me now it might work for you but my hair was pretty damaged i i'd go forward and say that but it ha- it didn't say what amount of damage would it clean it was like it would clear damage for up to 2 years and in 2 weeks so it didn't really do what it said so this was very disappointing and these were some of the products which i found disappointing and i hope nobody would take uh, this badly because it's not to insult anybody it's just that they didn't work for me and let me know which products you didn't like which didn't really work for you which were high priced or low priced or whatever and you bought it and you were they were so hyped up but they didn't really do anything for you and i'd love to hear about all the products you have and i might even you know not buy some of those which you tell me so i hope you like the video and i hope you had fun i had a lot of fun i love you guys take care of yourself i love you i love you i love you bye